Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Jeff Peng. This is a quick five minute stretch routine to help provide relief for knee pain. I recommend you do this routine three times a day in order to provide increased mobility and a range of motion. Feel free to follow along as we go through all the movements in real time. You can also use the timestamps or find a description of the routine down below. So the first thing we're gonna work on are our calf muscles. So just grab a towel and extend your leg and use the towel, wrap it around your foot and pull backwards. And where you're gonna feel it is in the lower leg muscles where all your calf muscles are. And our calf muscles can get really tight and because they're, they're really important in running, in walking, in going up and down stairs, in hiking. And sometimes they can get really tight. And when they get tight, they tend to cause a lot of pain. It can cause pain in your knees. It, cause, it can lead to pain in your ankles. So it's really important in stretching this muscle out. Now there's a lot of different ways to stretch out the calf muscles. You can do it how I'm doing it here. You can do uh, like in a yoga pose, downward dog. Um, you can um, kind of have your hands against the wall and step backwards and lean into that. And that's another way to stretch out the calf muscles. Uh, really important that you just want to try to get all of these uh, muscles stretched out in order to provide relief. Okay, so we're going to hold this for a total of a, uh, one minute. So in three, two, one, good. The next thing we're going to work on are our hamstrings. So just like a calf, this time you don't need uh, the towel. You just want to lean forwards. I'm going to hold this for a total of one minute as well. And so if you can, you can try to touch your toes over here. What you're really looking for is a big stretch. So not in the lower leg muscles now, you're really looking at the posterior thigh over here. So if you can try to touch your toes to get that big stretch, that's good. Otherwise, uh, if you can't, what you really wanna do is you wanna try to touch your chest and lean forward, hinge at the hips, try to touch your chest to the knees and you're gonna feel that stretch in the posterior part of your thigh. Now our hamstrings are really important in flexing the knee and it's really important in providing knee stability. And uh, the stretching out the hamstrings or having tight hamstrings can really cause a lot of knee pain. Uh, it also can lead to a lot of uh, pelvic problems and low back problems because tight hamstrings uh, tends to rotate the pelvis backwards and cause a posterior pelvic tilt. So we're gonna hold this side for a total of one minute. In three, two, one, good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on stretching out our glutes. I'm gonna show you a 90-90 stretch. So 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, hinge forward at the hip and try to touch your chest to the ground. And where you're supposed to feel this is you're gonna feel it all the way in the back of your hip where your gluteal muscles are. And the reason we're doing this is because our glutes, when they're really tight, or if our hip is really tight, uh, it tends to affect our uh, hip rotation. In our hip rotation, if your hips are not uh, aligned well, that affects our knee alignment and that can lead to knee pain. So things like patellofemoral pain syndrome, it can affect things like patellar tracking disorders. And so it's really important to maintain mobility and range of motion in our hips in order to make sure that our knee is also getting better. Now there's a lot of different ways to stretch out the glutes and you can check out my hip video uh, to learn more about the pigeon pose. Um, but we're just going to hold this for a total of one minute. So a few more seconds in three, in two, in one. Okay, good. The next thing we're going to work on are our hip flexors. So grab that same towel. This time you're going to put it under your affected knee. And if you have a pillow, a towel will work just as well. And what you want to do is this, this leg 90 degrees and you want to lean forward. And you're going to feel this stretch right here in the hip flexors. And we're going to hold this for a total of one minute as well. Now the more you lean forward like this, you're going to feel a deeper stretch in those anterior thigh muscles in your hip flexors. The other thing you can do is you can lean backwards like this. So lean your lower body forwards, lean your upper body backwards to get a bigger stretch. And again, we're working on stretching out the hip in order to provide alignment in our knee. In addition, part of our quadricep muscles also starts and originates in our hip, and we're really trying to stretch that out too. And so this is gonna be really important uh, in terms of stretching out the hip to, in order to provide relief in our knees. So we're gonna hold this for a total of one minute. 
in three, two, one, good. The next stretch we're gonna work on are our quadriceps. So just like that hip flexor, put that cushion underneath your knee. Same thing like the hip flexor stretch, but this time instead of leaning forward, you're gonna try to grab your heel and pull it up towards your glutes. So just like this. Now, if you have problems balancing, you can grab onto a chair, but what you really wanna do is you want to try to pull this as close to your glutes as possible. If this is as far as you can get, that's fine. As long as you're feeling a stretch in the anterior or in front of your thigh muscles, um, that's what we're looking for. So the farther that you can pull your heel backwards towards your glutes, you're gonna feel that stretch all the way up in the front of your thigh muscles. And our quadriceps are really the most important muscles in controlling the movement of our kneecap. It's really important in controlling the movement of our knee, and it can get really tight. And so this can be a very, very beneficial stretch. So we're gonna hold this for a total of one minute. In three, two, one, good. All it takes is five minutes to stretch out the knee. Do this routine three times a day in order to provide relief for your knee pain. If you found this information useful, please share with others. Please also consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. I can be found on Twitter at JeffreyPangMD, and I also write on my blog at JeffreyPangMD.com.